Good morning, my beautiful overcomers. How y'all doing today? Happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday. We are on day 11, day 11 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. And what an awesome day it is. Yes, we're making it. We're doing it. Stay strong. I know it gets hard, but by now we should be smooth sailing, man. I know we, you know, we human, so we'll go back and forth and have to talk ourselves out of whatever we're fasting about. But when we, when we remember God's goodness and what he's done for us, I know we can sacrifice whatever it is that we fasted for for 21 days, right? We got this. We can do this. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep praying. And so, guys, this has been a great journey. Day 11 is stand strong. First three days was kind of hard. <laughs> then you get day five and it's like, okay, I'm making it like it's getting there. Well, we halfway through now. Yes, we're making it over the hump. So we're doing good. We're doing good. So stay strong, guys. Don't leave me. Stay on the journey. Keep it pushing. Keep it going. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for uh, anyone that's thinking about subscribing. If you're watching, please hit the subscribe bell, the notification, so you know every time I upload a video. And please, guys, like this video. Comment. I do appreciate it. Thank you for all the comments that I've been getting. That helps motivate me, give me courage to keep going on my journey. So thank you so much, Lucy and Tiffany. Uh, I don't know. Those are only a few, few I've been getting the last couple of days. So I hope everybody else is still here. I'm going to hit them up and see what's going on because I want to make sure. Now, I see people are watching and not liking and commenting. So I appreciate if you guys come on and like and comment and if subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, I know this is kind of different for YouTube a little bit, um, but I do, I do still eat. I, I still will cook. I'm just doing the 21 days of prayer and fasting. I feel like that's something that's needed in the YouTube world. We need positivity. We need to be praying. We're still in the pandemic and it's getting worse by the moment. So we do need to be praying. We do need to stay strong in 2021 and ask for bigger things and make sure that, that we're praying because God is the answer to all that we're going through. So I felt like this was important again to do with, with the YouTube family. So I hope you guys are enjoying this journey with me because I am. And I, I'm glad that, you, that the ones that are on it with me are on it. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. And like I said, if you're actually praying and you're strengthening your prayer life, you see a difference, you feel a difference, and you feel stronger at whatever you're fasting on. And it does help. And trust and believe that if you keep just an ounce of faith, that God will answer your prayers and bless you beyond measures because that's exactly what he does. He's brought you through things before and he don't have a problem with bringing you through them again. He's that God. He's that good. All you got to do is stay faithful. And that's what we're here to do is to stay faithful to God, keep praying and praising him and thanking for him for his mercy and his grace. And y'all, he's going to answer all of our prayers and he's going to bless us in abundance with whatever we want and all of our needs. Okay. I truly believe that. And um, like I said, I'm feeling pretty good and we're going strong. And I just want you guys to keep pushing and keep having the faith. Keep praying and praying and still pray your own, own, your own prayers, you know, or pray along with whatever else you're talking about when I do mine, when I do the ones that I'm giving you. But let's stay fast, stay strong because y'all, we, we up over it now. We going down the hump. <laughs> we are going down the hump. So today is day 11 of, three, of 21 days of prayer and fasting. And today for day 11, we're going to read Philippians, Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And it says, pray for blessings. I'm sorry. 4-19 says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now that's in the Bible. You think that's the truth? Yes. He's going to supply all of your needs, not some, but all of them. He's going to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. Everything that you need, you will have. You have it actually. I don't buy, you know, what are you longing for? Yes, but he's going to supply all your needs, everything you want, everything that you're praying for. You're praying to get out of stress, out of debt, out of harm's way, out of the virus way. He's doing it. You're here. You're fine. You're doing good. 
Keep praying because he's going to supply all of your needs. Now, anybody that promised you that they're going to pray, they're going to uh, supply all your needs. I know you can be faithful to him. I know you can keep praying to him. I know you got faith in him. Yes, he's going to do it. We have to have the faith, God. Come on and, and, and praise God for that. Right now, we need to lift our hands and say, thank you, Lord, for supplying all my needs. Thank you, Lord, in God and your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you for, for supplying all my needs. You're an awesome God. We love you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord God. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Father God. Thank you for keeping us safe throughout the night, Lord God. Thank you for health and wealth, Lord God, because everything that we have is wealth. It's something that somebody else does not have, and we thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us to the strength to keep going on this 21 days of prayer. Thank you, Father God, for just keeping us to keep the strength to keep fasting on what it is that we promised you that we would fast on and sacrifice our bodies for, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. Amen. Thank you. We got to thank him, Lord. We got to praise him and thank him. Yes, because he's good to us and he loves us. Yes, he does. And if you don't think so, then I don't know. You better look back over your life and see where you've come from because he loves you. If he didn't, you wouldn't be where you are right here today. Yes. Thank him. He's good. He's always good. When we read Philippians chapter four, verse 19, we're going to pray for blessings to flow unhindered. We're going to pray for blessings to flow unhindered and remove all trouble in your life. Remove all the trouble in your life. That's what you're going to pray when you read that chapter, that, that verse in your prayer time. That's what you're going to pray. You're going to pray for blessings to flow unhindered and remove all trouble in your life. Yes. And he'll do it. He will do it. I've already prayed mine in my special place. And I'm, and I'm steadfast and I'm staying strong that he's going to do it. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, it's happening. God is good and he brings us through everything. Who do you think you call every time you're in trouble? God. Every time something goes wrong and you know you can't fix it or spouse can't fix it or your friend can't fix it, who you go to? The man that can. Almighty God. And while you're sitting there worrying about it and calling everybody and trying to do what you can humanly do, God has spiritually already fixed that thing for you. He's gone ahead of you. It's fixed. It's done. He's just waiting on you to get out of his way. Yes, get out of his way and stop trying to do it yourself. God is an awesome God and he loves us and he's fixing things right now. He's going ahead steps and steps in front of us, miles and miles ahead to fix things that we, didn't know, we don't even know coming to us. That's how awesome he is. Yes, you think things just magically happen, they just come up out? No, anybody can bring in life and take out life <laughs> and the doctors and mama and nobody else can fix it. But he is in control because sometimes when you go, when the person that when you're, if you're the sick one and they go in the sick room or in the prayer room and pray for you and you come out of that thing and the doctors had written you off, who do you think is in control of that? Who do you think brought you back in here? It wasn't a breathing machine. It wasn't a ventilator. It wasn't because the doctor brought you off all that stuff and said, we're going to see what happens if she breathes or not. It's the praying that your family members or you did and that God is not ready for you. He letting you know who is in control. Yes, he's there. He is in control. That's who brought you out. That's who brought you through your sickness. That's who brought you through your stressful time, through your divorce, or through when you were having a hard time in your marriage, or when that um, stronghold had you so bad you were losing everything. That's who brought you out of because that's who name you started calling, and you started praying to him, and you came out that thing. That's where you got your strength and your courage from to overcome it. It's Lord. It's God. You better start recognizing who, who is the head of your life right now, and who has all control in their hand. It's God. Yes, Jesus, his son, they have all the control. And that's who you need to be looking up to, the almighty, because he got all power in his hand. And that's why we praying right here today, because we know who got all the control. 
and we know who we should be faithful to, who loves us, who's given us this mercy and grace every day and blessing us in abundance. Yes, it's Lord, it's God. And if 2020 didn't teach you nothing else about that, he's teaching you now, and so is 2021. When the world is going through so much chaos, we're right here praying, and we're away from all that chaos. And we're keeping our minds on straight, and we're praying that everything works out for us good now. That's what we're doing. So y'all, stay praying. Keep going. Keep fasting. Stay on this journey. Believe in what you're praying. Keep the faith. And just know that God has our power in his hand. Yes, he does. I love you and so does he. And I'm not going to keep you long on these videos. I'll probably come to you at lunch today because I'm all scared out. <laughs> so I love you guys so much. And I'm so happy that you're on this journey with me. I pray that it's fulfilling you the way that it's fulfilling me. And I love you so much. God loves you so much, and I pray that you can feel that love now that you've been praying for 11 days straight, steadfast and non-stop fasting, and it's just an awesome feeling. I love you so much. Please like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, I'll see you in a little bit, but just go on and get that prayer in and keep the faith and pray, y'all, because we have made it to day 11 and we are going strong. And guess what? If you listen to this video and you have not made it all 11 days, don't stop. Don't let that hinder you. Pick up where you left off and keep going. Pick up where you left off and keep going. It's never too late. Let's go. Keep strong. Let's go. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome Thursday. Claim it. And let's get this day, this week, um, another week down in the books. All right, talk to you later. Love you guys.